Hello viewers, this is uh, Seer Game Scott, and welcome to a very special bonus edition of Let's Play Gold Rush. Now, um, I have not played Gold Rush for a little while, uh, but I did enjoy it a lot. I think it was my favorite LP to do, and I think it was one of the most popular ones I've done. I've only done four, I guess, or part of four, but um, definitely it took a while to go through. And um, Anyway, there were a couple of things that brought to my attention by a user, I believe his name is Dataminer49er, and uh, he had a couple tips about things we missed in Brooklyn and Gold Rush, so I just thought this was more, one of the more popular series that I did, that we'd go back and take a look at that, especially exploring a, a mystery that we had not solved in the uh, first uh, run through of the game. So um, without further ado, let's um, go ahead and um, take a look at uh, a couple things we missed. First of all, um, over here, if you uh, look water, the watering trough is a favorite spot for many of the animals in town. So I assume those are the horses primarily that um, drag the carriages around. And uh, there's not much you can do there, but you can actually use the pump, which uh, pumps out the water to put in, put in the trough. And so that's just an interesting thing. I don't think there's any reason for that. Um, it wasn't pointed out to me by a data miner or anyone else. Uh, but it's just kind of a neat thing you can do. And as you can see, you actually don't get points for that. So it's, um, I don't know if you keep doing it if it'll flood or anything. Probably not. It's probably just a little Easter egg of sorts or a little just uh, uh, interesting thing you can do in the game. But um, anyway, that's just one thing I wanted to point out to you. And uh, But more importantly, the reason I think I decided to make a video about it as well is we left off a mystery last time, and that mystery was, um, what do we do with Mr. Quail? Well, as you recall, in the previous times, right here when he asks us what uh, he can do for us, we, what we would do is we'd look at our bank statement that we got from the house, and um, we would give him the number, and he'd clean out the bank account for us, or probably close the account for us, and we'd go on our merry way, and we'd try that talking to the president. And so let's do that now. Let's uh, talk to president before deciding to withdraw any money just a moment, I'll check to see if he's free. And, um, I'm not going to read all that, but pretty much he just doesn't want to be disturbed and is somewhat happy to see us when he says, hello, Jared, what can I do, what can I help you with today? And the reason why we, I got so confused was I remember, and based upon the plot of the story, was uh, Mr. Quail's the guy who sort of raised you after your parent died, along with your brother, and, um, he was the guy who's going to get your personal effects when you uh, close on the house. And um, you don't actually, and I thought uh, you have to tell him you're leaving, you're saying goodbye, and you're heading west since the guy was so important in your life, or at the very least asking him to get your stuff, as you said um, you, you would ask. Uh, you would have him get things from your house. Well, it turns out, and I haven't actually sold the house yet in the game, so maybe it affects it. I, I don't think so. If I learn anything, I'll do a text update some, at some point. But um, pretty much, it's just an alternative way to get your money. So you just say, get money. And Mr. Quail says, Wesley, would you please get Jared his savings? His account number is 75. Thank you. Certainly, Mr. Quail. I'll do it right away. As you can see, Mr. Quail leaves um, right after that. And we get our $200. So um, that's kind of just an alternative way of getting your money. I don't know if it's just because it's kind of counterintuitive, as I pointed out beforehand, to get your money or get your bank statement by closing a desk drawer, and you might not be able to figure that out. So if you can't figure it out, this is another way. You get three points for that. Um, you probably you lo if you can't find the bank statement, you would get the points for getting your bank statement. Um, I actually lost the points because I walked on the grass. But um, so I think it's a way to get your money um, that you need, but um, not get the full points for doing so because you don't get the bank statement if you can't figure out how to get your bank statement. And before signing off, let's just try one more thing. It says get money. Okay, Jared, what's your account number? 75. Your account balance is zero. So you can't, so uh, there's no real point to using the statement if you find it later because you're cleaned out and that's all. And I don't think you can talk to the president again. Um, talk to president. Talk president. Just a moment to see if he's free. So, uh, we'll, we'll just see if you can get him out. Let's see if you can get him out again. Alright, so he says pretty much the same thing, and there's nothing else um, to do with him. So, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a plot hole, unless I didn't do this at the right time, that you don't really clo close things up with our, our company uh, sort of conclusion with Mr. Quail. Um, 
and to ha have closure, I guess, was what I was sort of looking for. Anyway, um, about heading out of town, which is kind of odd since he was so important to you, and um, you'd think you'd actually say goodbye to him, but I guess we just assume that he'll realize it himself um, somehow. Anyway, uh, that is all I have for this edition of uh, Special Bonus uh, Let's Play Gold Rush, and I think that probably closes Gold Rush um, Overall, so I do miss the game. I'm sorry there's not a sequel to it. Sorry there's nothing else to really talk about. But I do appreciate uh, Data Miner. Um, he pointed out to me. And I uh, do appreciate people watching the Let's Plays. We're going to head back into Police Quest 2 and try to finish that up. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. But um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that since um, people may not have watched the series yet or may not even be interested in the series. Um, and may just be more interested in Gold Rush itself. So um, with that, uh, we'll save any future Police Quest commentary for Police Quest Let's Play Police Quest 2. Please check it out on my uh, YouTube channel, and also we have King's Quest 3 and Quest for Glory 3 up there if you enjoyed the Gold Rush series. Um, until the next Let's Play, um, take care. Bye.